Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Pluto here. Another nigga tight on my panning crop, or aka screening pumps, such as this sex piece right here. Mm, it's pure sex in it, bro. Alright, let's get started. So, you know what? You want to open up AE. Um, this is a clip I use. I already have a texture sync. This is without the panning crop. <laughs> So, yeah, let's get started. Now I want to go to make a new adjustment layer. Um, hold on. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Alright, so you make an adjustment layer. Then go to, to, uh, go to your effects and presets tab. Type in transform. Transform. Drag that joker in. Alright, so um, you want to go to your first sync point where you want to start the screen pumps at. Go to the first one and then go three frames back. Two, three. Keyframe the scale. Press U on your keypad. Then go back to the same scene point, scene point again. And then what I usually do, I usually scale up from either 120 to 125, but I usually do 122. The next, you want to go to your next keyframe, your next um, sync point. Hit this diamond point right here with the keyframe again. Then go back three frames and then bring it down to 103. And just it's a repeated process. Go to the next sync point, keyframe, go back three frames, and bring it down to 103. And keep doing it till you have your, all your sync points done. But um, it's different from the uh, for like the transitions. I usually do my transitions from like not 122, but 130, 130, 135. And for these smaller points right here, the smaller sync points that like beats close together, I usually do 114, 113. You know, so it looks a little bit more cleaner. Alright. So let's get this done real quick. And for the shots, like the uh, screen pumps on the shot. I usually do mines, uh, mine at uh, 130, around 130. Seems my transitions. And for the um, the shot, you go back at least five frames. Give a little more time to you know, swoop in with the um, with the uh, um, screen pump. Let's see what we got so far. Actually, for the shot, let's bring it a little bit closer. And then let's see what we got. Come on, hurry up! All right, that's a lot better, but it's still it's not as smooth as possible. So. Go to um, click on the adjustment layer. Go to this graph editor button right here. Then you click on double click on the scale. Come down to this um, easy ease button right here, the third from the last. Click on that. All right. Now what you want to do is um, adjust the uh, scale points. So click on the top, and my method is like try to make it look like a nice pair of tits. You know, a perky pair. So I track this down a tad bit, bring it up, make it like a, you know, like a wavy tits form or perky tits. So I'm trying to do that to each, um, each waveform to make it a lot smoother. But for these smaller ones, um, I usually just uh, bring it out a little bit, just bring it out like that, cause it's smaller. But yeah, let's see what we got so far.
basically that's how I do my panda crop. It's I mean my I do my simple method. Um, but yeah, if this helps you out, leave a like and comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, I'll be doing a 1.5k contest soon. I'm about to hit 1.5k, so you know look out for that. Cast prizes, cast prizes, uh, exclusive presets and stuff for my pack. But yeah, you guys. All right, peace.